Hey, Cyclobetic here, final part of my Daphne series. So, I've just finished my fifth and final week. I've learned so much in this past month and a week. Cannot recommend it enough. So this week we're just finishing off. Well, we're a little bit ahead of ourselves. So what we did go over was when you get your blood tested at your clinics, what do those numbers mean? And we're just going into, we were given our last set of results so we could each look at our own. And it's a case of this is what this means, this is what that means, what, what numbers is each category aiming for? So as we can better understand what our results are, which is was quite interesting to go through. Um, the other bits we're going through is um, more day-to-day -day living with diabetes. So one thing we've been discussing throughout the entire thing, but which was marked down to discuss today, was driving with diabetes. As two of us on the course are drivers, we knew a lot about this already, as we've had experience going through the DVLA and knew what the restrictions are. But this was covered again, just to refresh everyone, make sure everyone's on the same page. We also went through travelling with diabetes, so we give an example of we're just going other side of the world, different climate, different time zone. What would you do before you left? Sort of from booking your holiday up to arriving at the airport. So we just went through this uh, everything we would do, things like doctors and to get free security, making sure you've got enough supplies for more insulin and for the trip, ensuring that you've got facility to keep your insulin cool. As we all knew that it should be kept in your hand luggage and never go in to the storage of an aeroplane with all the other luggage in case it freezes. And then we went through, well, what would you do during your holiday? What would you carry with you? Who would you tell? What things would you need to do when you get there? And they were quite impressed with what together we all discussed and you they then went through a list that the educators had accumulated over all the Daphne's they've done and we had a fair few of them they were happy with us the other thing we did during the session was really just sort of a few quizzes to test our knowledge so we would just pick a question give an answer if we didn't get it it just goes out to the group can anyone else give an answer and if there's anything we were unsure of we just discussed it a little bit further and we just went a little bit more into pumps and the guidelines on how to get one and what the next steps are going to be. Is it something that I personally really want to do? So I've now been told that I'm going to get full support from the department in trying to get one. So now that Daphne is done, um, before I can go on to that, in six weeks time there's a follow up just to see how we're getting on living by Daphne principles. From there I've been told I may be put on a CGM because um, they think there's a chance I might be suffering slightly from um, dawn rising phenomena which I seem to have some nights but not every night so I'm not quite sure what's going on there so, well, I don't want a CGM on me and it'll also show to them that because I can go from sitting on a sofa to suddenly going oh I'm going to go on my bike and go on a 50 mile bike ride my basal change needs change so quickly that MGI just doesn't really work for me too well as I'm constantly having to correct through um, giving more fast acting or eating loads more food, cutting back my fast acting it's whatever I need to do because my base I can do it so does it works for the active part of the day or does it work for the sedentary part of the day so I then have to adjust myself to keep going for the other bit. So me going through all this has made them realise that a pump will work for me and give me better control. So something that I'm, I hope to be bringing to you in more videos in the future on how my path to getting a pump is going. So that if you're going through the same sort of things, you possibly will gain a better understanding of what the hurdles are as I'm going through them myself. So I really hope you've enjoyed this Daphne series and hope it's inspired you to educate, get more education on your diabetes to help give you a better control over it. And I hope that when these pump videos do so, I can make you come back to watch them. So I look forward to seeing you soon.